Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. I'm actually out here with a random idiot. We're out here walking around. I did catch my first bass of the year, but I also kind of caught my first bass of the year. I don't know if you want to count it or not. I'm going to count it because I'm desperate, but uh, some of this video might be disturbing to some honest audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Guys, as you can see, there's a lot of ice right here, but the rest of the pond right here is unfrozen. I'm just going to start out with something really basic. I'm just going to start out with... Uh, well, my line came kind of untightened. Tighten that up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with this little tiny marabou jig. Um, going to kind of give it a try. It's really, really small bait. Kind of give it a try right here because I know there's a lot of bluegill and bass in this pond. So I have to give it a try here. Set my drag. This is like the first official bass fishing trip of the year, but we'll see what else we can catch. It was a terrible cast. <laughs> that sucked. Oh no, look at that. What is that? Is that a bass? What the fudge is that thing? Dude, if that's a bass, that's like a freaking two pounder. What the fuck is that? I'm gonna try to snag it. I, oh, bro, is that a bass, dude? That's a huge bass. It's dead, but it's a huge bass. What the hell, bro? That's like a freaking two and a half pound bass right there, just chilling. But he's dead, obviously. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm gonna get this crankbait right there. I'm gonna try to snag him with this crank. I can get the line of the snag from the bait. There we go. Okay, I'm going to try to... This bait floats. So I'm going to try to snag him real quick. I can get in there. Come on. Come on in here. Alright, I can grab him. Holy mother of God! Look at that bass! Guys, look at that. Guys, that's a monster bass. Holy crap. Are you guys seeing this? Holy crap, that's like a two and a half pound bass. He's dead, but check that out, guys. What the fudge? Holy crap. I mean, he stinks like shit, but that is a freaking monster bass. Look at that. Holy crap! Holy god. Okay, well. Alright guys, check this out. I mean, how much do you think it weighs? At least three. It, it, I mean, well, it's... I'd say around two and a half to three, but look at this thing. It's been dead for like a fucking week. It's missing most Dude, of it. Guys, check this freaking thing out. This thing has to have been like... Holy crap. Alright, well, you guys see, I got my scale right here. About to throw it on the scale. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys are guessing on the weight. I'm probably going to guess... I'd give it two and a half, at least. I mean, this fish is f***ing huge. <laughs> Honestly. Alright, guys. Oh, okay, zero. Okay, here we go. Official weight. What do you guys see? Don't say anything. What do you guys see? Wait for it to clock in. What did I say? Right and a half, to, right almost three pounds. Actually, that's that's pretty heavy. It's about two and a half pounds, but almost three. Look at that damn thing, guys. All right, well, um, I'm probably going to take it home and kind of chop it up, use it for bait, but what do you think I should do, bro? Do you think I should leave it here, or what do you think I should do with it? Clean it off, bring it home, use it as bait. Is that what I should do? You catch some pretty good catfish here with that. All right, three, two, mother one. It went through the ice. Yeah, these aren't really crankbait conditions. Oh man. Yeah, these are uh not primary crankbait conditions right here. Probably gonna switch up to like a, maybe like a weightless Sanko or something like that. It's actually what I might switch up to. 
or a weightless fluke or something like that. Something that I can get a bite on, you know, fairly quickly. So let's go ahead and do that. I feel like I might have a little better luck here. Get all the weeds off my bait. I mean, there are definitely bass in here. Um, it's just basically trying to get them to bite. Um, I mean, quarter, three quarters of the pond, is, or at least two thirds of it is unfrozen, so I mean, that's not really a big issue. Let's go ahead and open up my plastics, pull out a, a fluke if I can find them. My luck is they're probably all the way down on the bottom. Which I was right. <laughs> they're all the way down there. Grab our fluke, rig it just like any other fluke. Really simple. Try that at this spot as well. I'll see if I don't get lucky. This bait is primarily weedless. I don't really have to deal with anything. It's just a twitch twitch pause type retrieve, which is super simple. I'm just gonna just twitch it just like that, just barely. walk over here this little spot this way I can actually get that bait a lot farther out if you guys know what I'm saying but I got to get it over this ice there we go let's go try another spot there's a spot around uh, to the other side of the pond over there it looks a little deeper actually and I'm pretty sure that there might be a bass or two hanging out over there so I think that's plan B about to get muddy guys There are spiders. Get off me. Alright, we made it. Spot is ultra muddy. It is ultra muddy. Okay, let's grab my uh, other rod, give it a try, throw that fluke out there. By the way, if you guys are wondering what gear I'm using today, I'm using my favorite army ss reel um 7.3 to 1 gear ratio and then i have my lose american hero speed stick im6 it's a uh, seven foot medium power fast action so it allows me to have that um that versatility of that medium rod so i can just go twitch twitch with that fluke and it just dances in the water perfectly uh line i'm using i have 12 pound monofilament as line and you guys saw all I saw was that, uh, that big dead bass. Well, all right, guys, it is the next day since the last time you guys saw me out here. We're actually looking at better conditions. If you guys don't remember the last, uh, or yesterday's portion of the video, there was a giant ice chunk out in the middle. All the ice is gone today, so I'm very excited. Um, I'm going a little bit different today. So I brought one of my rods that has braid on it because I'm gonna be fishing 
uh, jig today. That's my main course of action. Hopefully we can do better than yesterday and not catch a dead bass. Hopefully we can do better than yesterday. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So I'm planning on using something like a finesse jig today. Uh, it was kind of a spare of the moment trip. I wasn't planning on coming back out here for a second day, but you know, that's how it goes sometimes. So I think I'm just gonna pull out like a, I mean the water's pretty clear, so I think I'm just gonna pull out a green pumpkin colored finesse jig. Something really, really basic. Something that I know that can at least get me a bite. And you know what? I might actually go with the um, orange craw color, if I'm being honest, just to kind of give it a try. It's one of my go-to colors for this pond. So we're going to give that one a try as well. Hopefully we can catch something on that. It is a little bit more chilly than yesterday. Yesterday it was pretty warm out. It was like 55 degrees. So for today's fishing, I brought out my seven foot medium heavy power fast action rod. Uh, and then I have um, um, a 6.4 to one gear ratio reel so I can fish that jig a little slower. 30 pound braid, 14 pound fluorocarbon leader. All right, so I think first thing we're gonna cast over there, I better set my drag, make sure that the fish, that if I hook something, I can at least pull line out. All right, first cast. Way out there. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully, I mean, we can get something to hit. I mean, that's my goal. Give it a cast over here at this spot. Jig fishing to me is always watching your line, especially if you're using braided line. It floats on the top, so it's very easy just to watch your line. If you see any irregular twitches in your line, or you see your line just take off, um, or even sometimes you'll feel the tap on your rod, that generally means you have a fish. So those are just a few things to look for when jig fishing, if you guys are wondering. Holy crap! Did you guys see that on GoPro? Did you guys see that fish? Holy, holy cow! Oh, dude, I'm right on him. I am right on him. Bro, that fish just freaking took off. What the hell? Man, did you guys see that? Holy crap, guys. That was insane. Are you kidding me? What? was that something huge yo and here hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoy this video if you guys want to see more videos like this where i go out fishing and whatnot don't forget to subscribe put out new videos every week thank you guys so much for watching and as always stay on the bar but i will catch you guys again on the next video thanks for watching